All right, welcome back to the channel. Um, told you I had a few things stored up. Uh, so we're gonna talk about my experience with Greg Mars cards. Uh, I consigned a bunch of cards to them uh, a few months ago. It's back at the end of February. I had seen a, a video on one of my favorite channels, Talking Ball Cards. He had, he had uh, recommended their service, right? And I have, uh, I've bought some cards from Greg Mars cards in the past, always very reliable. Uh, you know, you're able to, to win a bunch of auctions, combined shipping and, and all that good stuff. And, and what I think their specialty in the marketplace is uh, vintage cards, right, that they sort of assess, they give a grade to, you know, whether something is XX Mint, near mint, near mint or better. But um, the way that they, you know, they grade every single card, and I say grade, like not an official, like, you know, number grade, but the way that they grade those cards with those categories is, um, you know, is very reliable and, and trusted by people. And I know that when I have gotten cards that I've purchased, you know, and I paid a premium on some of them because of the, the condition that they had, uh, you know, they had established, um, they were, they were pretty accurate. Right. Um, so I thought it'd be a good idea to try the consignment route because I had a lot of um, I had a lot of raw 86 FLIR cards that were in great shape, right? I would say PSA 7 to at least 7, 8, maybe some 9s, right? The rest of the stuff I had sent in for grading, as you've seen in, in previous videos. Um, so I decided, hey, you know what? I've got like 300 of these cards, commons, minor stars, a couple of stars in there. There are maybe a couple of Julius Irvings and a James Worthy, I think, were the biggest cards in there. Um, so I decided to pack those up and ship them off. But uh, if I would have just sent those in, it wouldn't have met their minimum of $5,000. So um, I had wanted to sell my PSA 9 Michael Jordan 86 FLIR sticker. So I, I put that in there, got that well over the um, um, over the, the minimum order mark. So what they do is they, they take the cards in, they you know, again do their grading and get them listed. Um, in what I had hoped would be about a week or so, right? Um, when they first took it in, I kind of got what it was a form letter saying, hey, we're a little behind. It's going to take us about 30 business days to get in, you know, get your cards listed. So I was a little, I was kind of pissed off about that. And, but I was like, all right, you know, what am I going to do, right? So uh, I did follow up um, after about a week or so. Yeah, and, and they, you know, and they happened to, um, you know, and, and and they said that it would end up being quicker than that time frame, right? Quicker than the 30 days. So I was like, great. So in between the week and 30 days and like four days later, everything was listed. So, I mean, there was a little bit, little communi communication that was left to be desired there. But in the end, they got, the, they got all the cards listed uh, up and listed really quickly. So here I, I have like 250 auctions that, you know, for the individual singles, as well as the Michael Jordan um, FLIR sticker. So they run, I think, uh, yeah, they run for seven days or 10 days auction that end on a, ended on a Sunday. Um, all the items sold, right? And their, their payment structure is, uh, you know, is different depending on the, the, the level of what, of what gets sold. Um, I was really happy because the, the Jordan sticker uh, got close to $6,600 on the, on the listing. So, and that was higher than I was expecting, so great more to come on that but great great good start um the rest of the uh the rest of the raw cards raised about uh net right like about 1800 bucks but it was funny you know when i saw the effort that it you know when i think about the effort it take it took me right to to list to take the pictures list the cards yeah, get the payment ship the cards, get make sure I have all my shipping supplies, make sure I'm cutting up all the cardboard so I can pack a card correctly. I'm sitting here and, and I did this this first consignment. I was like, what have I been doing? I don't you know, like I was like, I don't care what the hell these people charge. You know, for me to ship one thing to them and then have them all you know do that and do all that work, all that that legwork and then send me a check later on, you know, about a month later. Like I'm in. Um, so in the end all of the raw cards got um, got paid for, no problem there. Um, but I saw that the the Jordan card payment was um, was not it was still open. I was wondering what the heck was going on because usually with these guys, 
it's funny when I've sold I, when I've sold big cards on eBay, and there hasn't been too many, but when I sold anything that was somewhat significant, like I knock on wood, I hadn't had a problem with payment. Um, but they got stiffed by this person who won the the, the Jordan sticker for sixty six sixty six hundred dollars. I think they realized they overpaid, and um, they didn't pay. Um, but I was expecting that you know. Greg Morris would have cut that person off and be like, okay, you know what, guy, we gave you, we gave you 10 days to pay, you know, you either pay within, you know, a few days or we're sending the thing back in the listing. But you know, it was almost like they were leaving it up to me and to, to reach out to them and say, hey, it's been two weeks, what's going on? Well, do you want us to relist the card or not? I'm like, well, yeah. I do because I feel like when I've had multiple cards sitting in my cart from them and I wanted to really expand beyond a week to maybe combine a few cards and get an auction, they were fairly firm about, hey, you know what, we give you a week, but that's all you get. So that was a little bit of a surprise. I think they need to work on that, but they got it relisted. Um, you know, it sold for, uh, I'm going to put, I'm putting some details in here as you're seeing. I think the, uh, you know, it was sold for $5,400. So in the end, you know, that uh, significantly less than the first sale, but at least they collected on this and I got the net amount. Um, the way that they uh, do, the way that they structure, they structure their payouts uh, at different levels, right? So the $5,400 uh, Jordan card, right? Their fee was 432, so my net was 4968. Um, for some of the smaller pieces, you know, they itemize them out. So if a card sells for $10.50, you know, the fee is $263 and you get $787, um, you know, and so forth. So the, you know, the, the reporting is great, right? They give you all the details and ultimately, uh, you know, it's PayPal or, or, you know, transfer to your checking account, whatever you want. Uh, all in all, if I had um, more raw cards that I wanted to, uh, that if I had $5,000 worth of raw cards, I would totally send it to them again. Well worth the, um, the effort that you will save as an eBay, uh, you know, doing all this stuff on eBay on your own. Um, that's about it on this one. I've got one more experience to tell you about. We'll come back on that uh, on a later video. I'll talk to you soon.